Welcome back to the YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use your Sony mirrorless camera as a webcam on a Mac, officially, finally. I've made videos on this before, but they were always unofficial methods or hacks or workarounds. Sony released official software a couple of days ago, which now supports the Mac. So this is the video you want to watch. This is the most simple way to set it up. So let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you need to do is head over to this website. There will be a link in the video description and just scroll down and make sure you're running the correct firmware on your Mac. Then scroll down again and just take a look at the list of cameras. If your camera is on the list, then your camera is supported. If your camera is not on the list, then it's not supported. So I'm going to be using the Sony a6300, which is just placed just here, just out of shot, you might just be able to see the lens on it. So I've selected the Sony a6300. I'm going to scroll down again and click download for Mac. Once that's downloaded, just open it up and click the package and just follow the steps of the install wizard. And it's going to ask you for your password. So just pop that in. The installation was successful. Now you need to restart your machine. Okay, so we're successfully restarted. The software should be installed and we should be able to use our Sony mirrorless camera. That's just a prop, the real ones over there, um, as a webcam in pretty much any piece of software you like, like Skype or Zoom or Google Meet or OBS or Streamlabs or Discord. It should work just like a regular webcam. But the only thing that won't work is the audio capture from the camera. Just bear that in mind, you will need to have an external microphone or use the inbuilt microphone on your laptop, whatever you decide, but you just need to bear that in mind. I get asked that a lot and you do need a separate audio device. So I've just opened up OBS and we're gonna go down to the plus button. We're gonna go to video capture device, press okay and then select our Sony camera as our webcam. And there we go, fully working. And actually, the frame rate is a lot better than the previous methods that I've talked about. So well done, Sony. That's actually quite a nice angle. I might start using that in my YouTube videos. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss another episode. And if you've got any questions or comments or there's a specific video you'd like me to make, then why not join my Facebook group? There's a link in the video description. It's a members only group. I post all of my videos in there before they go live on YouTube and I get back to you with any questions you might have. Thank you for watching and I will see you again very soon.